cameras? Numerous cameras. And, and where is the film, the footage of that? No, I can see it. And uh, yeah, thank you all for your support. Let's start it up.
Sammy, justice for all the other police murder victims. This nonsense has got to stop. I'm paying for this nonsense.
Imagine if the kid had a criminal record or he had priors or anything like that while well, you guys are with me so Not like, even back. my friend and his family. But we just want answers. And this is just a small part of the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is if something like this didn't happen to my friend and something like this was not filmed by everybody and without you guys, the public, we wouldn't be here or be able to ask these guys questions over here and ask them what's going on with their meeting in half an hour and why we're not allowed in. You know, we want Mr. Blair to come and put out a real statement to my friend's mother. And we really want to know what's going on. My friend Sammy didn't hurt anybody. Just like a lot of others that didn't hurt anybody and were executed by the police. Like animals. Remember that the police stole a mother's son. Okay, the police stole a sister's brother. And so at the end of the day, we're here led by Sammy's family and friends. They're the ones that need to lead the demonstration, lead the calls, and lead this movement. We know this is not an isolated incident. Just six months ago, the police shot a man in the head at Keelan Wilson, and later claimed that he shot himself in the head. I remember, I remember in May, May 5th of 2010, when they beat, when they beat 18-year-old Junior Manon to death on the campus of York University. Yeah. Beat him to death and later claimed that he died of a heart attack. We remember when they shot Awi Al Nadir in the back of the neck, unarmed. And what makes it, what makes this case different, and what allows us to be out here is the fact that we caught this on camera. Yes! The public caught these guys on camera doing what they do 
and they weren't able to spin their usual lies in the media. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to demand that Constable James Fosillo, we're going to call him by his name. Who has seen that video? Who has seen that video? Raise your hand! Do you see the three shots? You see him lying on the ground? And then you see him shoot them six more times! And then they dance on him! Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Because they think they could get away with it! They thought they could get away with it! And will they? Will they? Will they? We are outside police headquarters! Right now! At 1.30! They're having a meeting there! And what do they tell us? Nothing! They tell us some other inquiry will take place! Some other investigation! Some other thing! There'll be more words! More reports! And children! Brothers! Sons will continue to die! We want answers now! We want answers for Sami's family! Now! We want to know! We don't even know the name of the sergeant who chased him! We don't know who the officer was in charge on that day! They think they'll give us one name and we'll go away, will we? No! Will we? No! We go for justice! We are here to create justice! We are here to fight for justice! We are taking a stand for justice! Justice for Sammy! Justice for Sammy! Justice for Sammy! Let them hear you inside! Justice for Sammy! Justice for Sammy! A native man, Byron de Bassage, shot down by the police for stealing two lemons. Yeah. The price of an indigenous man's life, two lemons. Yeah. In the eyes of the police. Yeah. Freddie yeah. Villanueva in Montreal. Eric Osawi in Toronto. Junior Menon stunned to death by these killers. Yeah. And then they say he had a heart attack. Yeah. We're sick and tired of it. To write about this shit anymore. So what are we gonna do about it? We demand change, but we understand that they're not gonna give it to us. As my brother Tabir had brought to our attention, we gotta recognize where the police come from. Right? The Royal Northwest Mounted Police, what became the RCMP, were created to crush the Northwest Rebellion of Louis Rial. And while that train track was being built across the country to police and to murder and to snatch native people out of their homes and put them in residential schools. And so that's the legacy that we're left with. We're left with a paramilitary force that protects the rich. For us. So all I want to say, brothers and sisters, is that we got to organize. We got to be vigilant in our communities. When the cops are on the block, we got to be looking out the windows. We got to take out that camera. Yeah. Right? Everybody, throw your cameras up. Let me see your camera phones. Your smartphones right now. When you see cops harassing a youth, harassing a native person, harassing anybody, you got to bring that camera up and let them know that we're watching. And when we say disarm the police, it's not because we think you're going to lay down your arms. But we know that we gotta organize to make that happen. And if necessary, we'll force it. So let me hear you say, brothers and sisters, justice for Sammy. Justice for Sammy. Justice for Sammy. Do so in memory and honor of Michael Elegon Jr., who was shot by police when he needed them most. I don't want to stay long. This day is about Sammy and his family. If you really know what his family are going through. In 1988, when the Black Action Defense Committee was formed, it was formed because we had an ideal that we would stop this happening. Yes. We would stop the police indiscriminate killing. Today is 2012, and young Sammy 
who was not even alive, 2013. And young Sammy, who was not even alive when we formed, is dead. Yes. From the very same injustice that we were fighting against 30 years ago. We stand here today in front of the belly of the beast. But this is well armed and well armored. Every single policeman you see, every clip he has on him has 15 rounds. 40 caliber, 10 millimeter, hollow point bullets. Every time they pull their weapon, it's attempted murder. They do not shoot to wound. They do not shoot to scare. They only shoot to kill. I want to say right now, that there are many good policemen, but the thin blue line that the bad ones hide behind corrupts the rest of them. Andre Moran is on their case. We have to support him. But who is going to support us? What about our politicians? Each and every one of you have MLAs. Each and every one of you have MPs. Each and every one of you have MPPs. Make sure they receive a letter from you today. On behalf of Sammy Yatim, on behalf of Michael Elegon, on behalf of Hugh Dawson, on behalf of all the others, I thank you. I'm tired of indigenous people. They're just honest. So I'm going to do a quick piece about this. Is that okay? Four kids today attempted arrested. Four kids today attempted arrested under the age of 15. Five cops displayed their power of fuckery when we said we'd not betray them. These criminals, cause they fit the description. These animals, yet all I see are children. Most of my friends know someone who's been shot and they do know who's killed them. Only supposed to provide protection there in a gang called system. Economic strife creates tension, not to mention youth incarceration. This is a warning, it's not fiction. We under gunpoint organize crime victims. And if you're privileged, don't mean educated, but got the strings to pay off the witness. Oh, make them disappear. Oh, make them disappear. Oh, make them disappear. These criminals, cause they fit the description. These animals, yet all I see are children. Peace. Unfortunately, whatever those in charge who were there, they couldn't handle the situation. We demand, we demand those forces, as Chief Blair said yesterday, to go to a proper, proper training. I gotta hold a book down here, where basically cab drivers in the city of Toronto, they go for a training course. 
and to deal with the public. And I'm just wondering, our police force, do they go through the same training course? This is like a Harvard book. Yeah. Yes. We thank you all, and I want you all not to lose your faith in the institution, to make this institution as, as the headquarters of the police, to make it stronger and more powerful so they could protect us. And we demand all the cops, the guns should be taken out. No gun in the street. We don't want gun in the street.